YouTube, welcome back to our Mini Willys Jeep build. Those of you who have been following this build will know that we've built this from parts from an old Suzuki Jiminy Jeep and also from a 1980s Honda Quad bike. We've finished the body, we've finished the electrics and we're about to strip it down to paint. Now we've been researching what it would take to put this thing on the UK roads and it's a fairly strict test called an IVA test or an individual vehicle approval test. There is a threshold under which this would qualify as a quad, or more accurately as a heavy quadricycle. But for that it would need to fall under 450 kilograms, uh, and I'm not sure our, our Jeep's going to do that, it's fairly heavy. But as we strip this Jeep down, I want to periodically weigh it to see if it does fall under that 450 kilogram category. And if it does, we might just put it through that test. four wheels off the ground just and she settled down at 566.5 kilograms or for you guys in the states that's 1250 pounds so fairly hefty but bear in mind She's still got the windscreen installed, still got the spare wheel installed, and still got the axe and shovel installed, and all of the little lights and sirens and metal work um, attached, little handles, and the um, bows for the roof installed. Okay, weight test complete. She's a heavyweight, she needs to lose a few pounds. Let's move on and try the flex test. Keep going until either that back left wheel lifts or the front right wheel lifts. But wow, we oh yeah, that's the back left wheel just lifting off the ground. Wow, look at the height that. That really. I nearly let go. Don't let go, mate. That really flexes. Wow. So the flex test passed with flying colours. There's plenty of clearance around the wheels, so no issues there. The only other thing we have to test now is the exhaust sound or the exhaust output. This needs to be less than 99 decibels for the Jeep to be classed as a heavy quadricycle. So let's get that tested. Alright Ollie, so last thing we need to do is measure the sound levels coming out of the exhaust. We need to do that. 500 millimetres, so 50 centimetres away from the exhaust tip at about a 45 degree angle backwards. So I need you to start the Jeep up for me. Okay. Okay, so that's about 85 decibels at the moment at idle. Okay, Ollie. Just press the accelerator a wee bit and hold that. 98, a bit more, 100, 99, 101, a bit more. Oh, oh, 106, it goes, it goes higher than that, dude. Yeah, alright, go again. 99, 100, higher, 105. Wow, I think we're well over dude. Yeah, I know it does. So Ollie, she's a little overweight and she's a bit too loud. Does that remind you of anyone? <laughs> My <laughs> yeah, we can't actually okay, see her. Okay. Can't actually <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go and get some work done.
got all the extra weight off it, we've got the windscreen off it, we've got all the catches for the bonnet off the front, we've got all the handles off it, the action shovel are gone, spare wheels gone, and the extra seat out the back is gone. So let's get it in the air and see what she weighs. Four wheels off the ground. Yeah, we've got a few inch clearance there. Yeah. And the final weight with all the parts stripped off 506.5 kilograms. So we're about 56 kilograms overweight for the heavy quadricycle. And in pounds. That's 1,116.5 pounds.
So that's all we get time for in this episode folks. Thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one where we build the Jeep back up. Like and subscribe.